The Open Great League has finally returned. Here are the top 10 teams according to pvpoke.com as of December 10, 2022. This will run from January 12 to February 2 or for a grand total of 3 weeks. This first team is Galerian Stunfisk on the lead with Pedlipper and Sableye in the back. Galerian Stunfisk is your most reliable, most dependable, and most adaptable lead given the Season 13 updates. It could fight back against Flyers, against Ice types, and even opposing Steel types. Sableye is your safe switch for all seasons because it's only weak to Fairy, which is ably covered by Stunfisk on the lead. Pelipper is already spammy with, with that weather ball, but because of the wing attack buff, it is even much more spammier. And it could reach that hurricane to threaten one-shots against opposing Pokemon. This next team has Noctowl on the lead with Lantern and Galarian Stunfisk in the back. Please do take note that this Lantern is running Water Gun as its fast move. Why is that instead of the standard recommended Spark? This team will run into problems with Galarian Stunfisk leads. So it's important for your lantern in the back to have water gun so that it could exert fast move pressure once that matchup against Galarian Stunfisk does come up. Otherwise, this team is bulky enough and strong enough to heat much of the meta. This next team is a bit spicier because you have Shadow of Snow on the lead with Medicham and Sableye in the back. Players would be wise to start running a Bomb of Snow when they notice that they're running into more lantern leads the grass typing on the bomb of snow will resist anything that lantern can throw and the ice typing allows a bomb of snow to fight back against opposing flyers please do note that both a bomb of snow and medicham share weaknesses to flyers but it's nice that they do have coverage moves in ice punch powder snow and weather ball ice this next team is Medicham on the lead with Aurorus and Walrein in the back. This is a classically constructed AVB style team. If Medicham runs into a flyer or a neutral type, match up, you bail to your Walrein as the safe switch. Because of the slightly bulkier uh, status of Walrein and the moveset of Powder Snow, Icicle Spear, and Earthquake, you could threaten to grab one shield in the mid game. So that Auroros will have shield advantage and that absolutely scary weather ball meteor beam combo to close the game strong. This next team is Alolan Ninetales on the lead with Lantern and Umbri on the back. Please do note that the Alolan Ninetales in this team runs Charm and Psy Shock instead of Powder Snow and Dazzling Gleam which are the PV Poke recommended moves. And this Lantern is running Spark which is the PV Poke recommended move. Please be careful with this team because it will struggle, yes, again, to a Galarian Stunfisk lead because you will be ABA weak. Ninetales and Lantern would share that same weakness. And it will struggle to fight because Spark and Charm will not have any fast move pressure. This next team is Altaria on the lead with Azumarill and Bastiodon in the back. On paper, this is nice because of the Dragon typing and Altaria, but in practice, you will run into a lot of Galarian Stunfisk and Alola Ninetales, so you will have a miserable lead in Altaria. Actually, particularly with Galarian Stunfisk, you will be ABA weak because also your Bastiodon is weak to Galarian Stunfisk. You may want to stay a bit with that Dragon Breath and Sky Attack combo, chip as much damage as you can, and hope that Azumarill can close that mid game properly and has enough bulk and HP to fight for the rest of the team. Next you have Bastiodon, Medicham, and Meganium. This is an updated version of a popular core of Bastiodon and Shadow Victory Bell. That old core focused more on fast move pressure. If you decide to pivot to having a Meganium, that means you're trading that fast move pressure for a little more bulk. Because Meganium has more bulk than a Shadow Victory Bell. Also, because it loses the poison typing, now it resists the ground attacks from earthquakes coming from Swamperts or even Galarian Stunfisk. It will just be pure grass so it can resist ground moves. Next team, we have another slightly modified take on a classic core. 
Swampert, Umbreon, and Noctowl, the classic core being Swampert and Skarmory. Although Noctowl does not have the steel typing and the numerous resistances that Skarmory has as a result of the such typing, Noctowl does have quite some bulk to it and might be enough to compensate for the loss in the typing. But that wing attack just generates much more energy faster and quicker than an air slash coming from a Skarmory. So this might be a better team. I would like to run this team actually. Next team is Noctowl on the lead with Medicham and Galarian Stunfisk in the back. This, you can't get any more meta than this. You have Medicham and Galarian Stunfisk which has been in this format since forever. And Noctowl, since it got that Shadow Ball update some 4 or 5 seasons ago, it was elevated to quote-unquote some play in the Great League. But with that wing attack buff, it's just everywhere. You could watch the regional championships for uh, Pokemon Go Battle League. You will see Noctowl on everything. It's everywhere. And it's performing very strongly. Next, finally, we have Trevenant on the lead with Bastion and Drapion in the back. Drapion is also one of your safe switches for all seasons because it's only weak to ground type because of its typing, which is ably covered by Trevenant in the front. Actually, this team behaves like a pseudo ABB style team because Bastion and Drapion share a ground weakness, which is covered by Trevenant in the front. If you run into a flyer or a nice type on the lead, you have Drapion on the switch. If you run into a fire, Aqua Tail can also threaten massive super effective damage. And there you go. Those were the top 10 teams according to PV Poke as of December 10, 2022. It'll run for another 3 weeks. It'll be a long 3 weeks for us. So it's nice to have as many options as we can as we grind out and climb rank.